Lacrosse Local is proud to be a sponsor of the Lacrosse Winter Roots Festival, taking place Saturday, February 12th. We invite you to celebrate music, cuisine, artists, makers, brewers, and distillers in the new Lacrosse Center Riverside Ballroom. Musical entertainment includes Dan Sobronic, Reed Grimm, Tug, The Remainders, Greg Hall and the Wrecking Ball, and the Trippin' Billies, the nation's most renowned Dave Matthews tribute band. Lacrosse Winter Roots Festival is presented by the Lacrosse Center, Lacrosse Local, and with special thanks to the Remainders. I'm going home. Yeah, I'm going home. Find out more information and how to get tickets at lacrosselocal.com. On this podcast, we explore Sparta, Wisconsin, with Sparta Area Chamber of Commerce's Executive Director, Heidi Prestwood. We talk about her background, day trip ideas, quick visits, winter trips, a rundown of yearly festivals, and her favorite Sparta activities. You can find more conversations, food reviews, live music, and events on our website, lacrosselocal.com. I'm Amy. And I'm Brent. And this is Lacrosse Local. My name is Heidi Prestwood. I am originally from a small town in Northern Indiana called LaPorte. And I moved up here in 2001 after my graduation to go to Viterbo in La Crosse. Um, Met my husband at Mayo and we found this cute little house north of Sparta on Cataract and moved out there. And I did in-home daycare for quite a few years while my children were small and was looking at this job at a local company for marketing. And I said, why not? So And part of that job was to be involved in the community, different community organizations and events, which led me to the board of directors here at the Sparta Chamber and essentially made me a a pretty good fit when the uh, director's position opened up. So we invited you to tell us about some day trips. I know I've been up to Sparta a few times and I could talk about that a little bit later, but do you have any thoughts on, you know, something that something you could suggest for people from lacrosse across the area for like a quick visit? Yeah, definitely. So a lot of people come to town for quick day trips, actually, to park and they ride the trail down to the first tunnel, which is eight miles from my office here. They do the tunnel and then ride back. And of course, they're always asking, well, what else is there to do? So we've got plenty of local restaurants and boutiques and and shopping places right downtown on our main street on Water Street. We suggest going to FastCore, which is the company that makes the giant fiberglass. You know, you can tour their graveyard there of their different products that they've made. You know, we've got the walking tour bridge that people can check out. Um, All those bridges that we have here in town were made by five gentlemen, the five shovelmen as an infrastructure project. So we have all those available and, you know, just to, to take in the sites and the waterways and a lot of different day trip opportunities. So winter's coming up. Do you have any suggestions for, you know, easy getaways or day trips during the winter? Yeah, definitely. So starting Thanksgiving weekend is our Christmas market, Chris Kindle Mark. This is our eighth year and you can hit it up on a Friday evening from four to eight or Saturday all day, uh, eight till 5 p.m., 8 p.m., excuse me. And we've got uh, singing groups. We've got arts and craft vendors, local people. We have people come from all over. There's music and food. We've got glue vine and, and Bavarian pretzels. It's, it's a really neat experience. Uh, there's heaters everywhere to help keep people warm. The Mueller Square is covered. So if there's any terrible weather, and then we are looking to bring back the wagon rides that go from Mueller Square, the Chris Kindle Market down to the holiday lights. So a super cool day adventure there. Also this winter will be our second annual Sparta Quest Winterfest. A festival that started many, many years ago and was part of the sled dog races that they have in Alaska. I kind of tweaked it a little bit and made it more recreational for our area. So we have snowshoe racing, fat tire racing, snow sculpting, which I pulled from the Lake Geneva chamber. So people can come out and sculpt giant blocks of snow (laughs) that Fort McCoy helps me build. We we light off lanterns and bonfires and food and, and beer and a kickball tournament. So we've got a couple of those events coming up, you know, this winter to look forward to. So, you know, you, you kind of threw out a bunch of those. It's interesting just being from lacrosse and not realizing how much stuff Sparta has to offer. What's something that you are particularly fond of? Can you pick one or two out that are your your babies or that you always plan for? 
Fall Fest has been kind of my baby. I sat on the planning committee in my other position, my other job. And now that it's my baby, I've kind of taken and honed it in a little bit more. So this year will be a little bit bigger, a little bit better than last year. The street will be filled with vendors, our street graffiti competition, chili and beer contest, uh, vintage tractor show. It's probably my, my biggest one. The chamber recently came on board to take over the Chris Kindle market, making that bigger and better this year as well with the addition of six new huts and some new lighting features and uh, some new garland and, and things like that. So those are my projects. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, when you're just out and about, what are some of your favorite activities? I mean, is it something like, are you into art or shopping or? Yeah, I definitely enjoy the shopping at some of the local places here downtown. And then I really enjoy being out on the trail myself. You know, I close the office at four o'clock and I change my shoes and I'm out on the trail. I don't ride on the trail, but I do run and I walk on the trail quite often. A couple times a week, you see me out there and, you know, it's just, it's just fun to drive around. And I like a lot of the old houses. I'm, I'm big into architecture and things. So uh, driving through town and checking out some of the older houses and, and being a part of the community and watching it grow from its initial point when I first came into town to now is, is it's a fabulous, it's, I love it. I love being a part of it in the process of it. Being up in Sparta the last couple of years, just kind of uh, spreading my wings and just, you know, going on these little day trips. I've always known Sparta. We played them in football in high school, but it's nice to just to see the kind of revitalization of the downtown area, the different trails, just the investment from business. What surprises people when they visit Sparta, you think? What's the unique thing that's maybe people don't know? I think one of the biggest things that people don't know that a majority of our downtown businesses are women owned, oh. uh, which is a huge deal. So the mayor herself owns an establishment downtown and you know people, people don't know that. Uh, we have a lot of unique venues throughout town, not just downtown, but throughout town. You know, Sparta is a whole town, not just the downtown. And the bridges, I mean, the, the, the kiosk and the bridges, it's all done by gentlemen who do it on a volunteer basis, uh, which is super cool because not many communities can, can talk to that. So if people want to plan a trip or just head up there, what's the best spot for them to go to to find out more information? I'm so glad you asked. We have a brand new website, www.bikesparta.com. And we have uh, all of our information is there, places to go. Everything is a clickable link. So you can go and click and it'll take you to um, that business page, that venues page, things like that. Uh, we are working on our day trip itineraries. So if you can't find something and want to know, go ahead and give us a call at the office here. Uh, 608-269-4123. Let the office lady know you want to talk to me and I'll, I'll hook you up. Lacrosse Local Podcast is a production of River Travel Media. Do you have an interview idea you'd like to share with us? Message us on Facebook at Lacrosse Local. Find out more about us at lacrosselocal.com and you can subscribe to the Lacrosse Local Podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you like us, rate us five stars. We appreciate it.